Hello, Julie here from Technique Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to show you one way to use Zig Clean Color pens with the new Greenhouse Society set, the strawberry. I stamped the strawberry image on Canson watercolor paper using a waterproof ink and let it dry. I've got my water, a paper towel, and a small brush here that I'll use to spread and blend the pen color. I'm starting with the flowers, putting a very light shot of pale pink at the outside edge. Because the strawberry plant flowers are usually white, I just wanted a hint of color for a bit of extra de definition. I put a line down the edge and then picked up a little water on my brush and then spread the color toward the center of the flower using that water. I'll add a little yellow to the center of the flower and then spread it to the edges with my brush. Next are the strawberries. I'm starting on the larger berry and brushing in a fairly large block of light pink along the bottom edge where the shadow would be. Once I've got it in, I'll pick up more water on my brush and use it to spread that pink through the berry. I want the color to build up a bit and this is a good first layer. The next layer is a good sized block of carmine red. It spreads nicely as well, but of course it gets very pink, and it's a cool pink instead of a warm pink. So I make sure I've got that red good and saturated, but I also think about ways to warm up that color. Next is a line of brown along the bottom and under the leaves where the shadows will hit. This brown is a nice warm color that, once it's spread into the red, warms up the berry to make it sure it looks good and ripe. I'll go back and forth a bit between carmine and the brown to make sure it's good and saturated. The last touch on the berry is a tiny bit of orange in the highlight to warm it up a little. I'll spread it around immediately to make sure it's nice and smooth. Once both berries are done, I'll move on to the leaves and stems. I start with pale green as a base and I put a pretty good covering of it down. I put color down directly on the shadowy areas like the center line of, and ribs of the leaves and the ends of the stems and then spread it to gra create gradients. I'll do that until I've got a good bit in and then move on to light green and do the same thing. However, with the light green I don't add quite so much color. It, it, it means that I end up with a nice bit of texture. On this version, I'm leaving it looking fairly painterly instead of making the color really smooth. I like seeing the brush strokes a bit. Next is deep green, once again starting with the center line and ribs and using even less color here. I'll go back and forth adding more light and dark green and even a little yellow until I like how it all looks. Here's another version I did earlier where I've made the color a bit smoother and then the card I made of, out of yet another version. I used the coordinating matte die to cut around the strawberry and then the jam jar label die to cut a label for the sentiments. Our design team has been making some really gorgeous projects with the strawberry already and here are a few of those. enjoyed watching and saw something you can use in your next project. Thanks for watching!